Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to each and every one of you. From our family to yours, the Stewart family wishes you a blessed Christmas season. And we're hoping that this holiday season will be a tremendous blessing to you and your family. That this will be the season that will catapult your family into the family that you want it to be. Again, we say unto you, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and, and a Happy, happy Holidays. Holiday. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus. We're in the last month of the year. Now the first seven days we talked about what we should do with these last few days we have not only in the year but in the decade. That is the last ten years. So these next seven days in the month of December I want to talk about immediately if I would use a text Everything for the next seven days we'll be talking about immediately. And the Bible says faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. We only have a few days left. But I want our faith to understand. And I want the word to encourage our faith to believe that even with a few days left in the month of December, God is still able to do more in December than he did in the first 11 months. If we believe, if we believe, let's not doubt him. So we're going to study some things, some miracles that happened in Jesus' administration to let us know that he's El Shaddai, the Almighty God. And not only has he all power, he has all power to do it immediately, immediately. Even time is subject to him. Let's study. Welcome to the Words to Empower podcast, featuring Bishop Frank Stewart, pastor of the Acts Ministry in Conway and North Little Rock, and now, Pastor Stewart. Welcome back to your Acts Ministry podcast. We're focusing in on the power of God to move immediately, at once, now. At lightning, light speed, quicker than light, at the speed of thought. Can, can you imagine that? The speed of thought, that's, that's quicker than lightning, that's quicker than the speed of light. So we're talking about, when we look at the Bible, and we study the Bible in the New Testament, we look at all these incredible things that the Lord did immediately. Immediately. And we talked about uh, how he immediately cleaned the man or healed the man with leprosy. Immediately, immediately he healed him. Immediately, immediately how he had healed those that were b blind, two men. He touched them and immediately was healed. But not just the physical healing. And then we studied how he was able to save Peter. The Bible says immediately Jesus stretched out his hand. I like that. I like that. Immediately. And, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm more, I believe he's more inclined to move quickly in, in the saving of the soul. So, so immediately he saved Peter when Peter was walking on the water and Peter began to doubt. And the Bible says Jesus immediately saved him. And then on yesterday we talked about his ability to immediately bring about repentance. Repentance. And that was with Peter. Peter denied him, denied him, denied him. But when that rooster crow and Jesus made eye contact that atmosphere of atmosphere of repentance Peter was able to repent so we talked about that we talked about that on on yesterday now today I want I want to talk about something that I think that is very very important very important and uh, we need to study this because this is something that the Lord can do, but we must be ready to do this, to do this. 
Now, in, in Mark chapter 1, I want, I want you to get this, Mark chapter 1, and I want to start in verse number 21. And I want to read to verse number 28. Watch this. Then they went into Capernaum, and immediately on the Sabbath, Jesus entered the synagogue and taught. And they were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Now there was a man in their synagogue with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with you, Jesus of Nazareth? Did you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be quiet and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had convulsed him and cried out with a loud voice, he came out of him. Then they were all amazed, so, they, so that they questioned among themselves, saying, What is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority he commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. And immediately... His fame spread throughout all the region around Galilee. Now, this is, this is important here. This is very important. Very, very important here. Here in, in St. Mark chapter 1, verses 21 through 28. It is in verse 28 that we find this word immediate, which means at once. And it said immediately his fame spread throughout all the region around Galilee immediately 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 his fame spread throughout all the region around Galilee stay tuned for more of Frank Stewart and now for some special announcements. Thanks for partnering with the Axe Ministries. We value your service and your donations. That's why we've made it easy to make contributions to support our ministry. Simply go to your web browser and click the search bar and type in axeministriesonline.org. Then click Donate Online. It's really that easy. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501 302 4242. That's Simple Give. And now, more of Pastor Frank Stewart. Now, when you look at this, when you study immediately, we have to ask ourselves, are we ready for immediate fame? Now, before you say, I'm not looking for fame. Jesus wasn't looking, at, looking for fame either. But he understood to propagate the, the word of God. I remember a conversation many, many, many years ago. And, and the phrase went like this. If you had fame, you could spread my name. Now think about that. If you had fame, you could spread my name. And fame basically he's saying if you were well known. If you were uh, recognizable, if you had a following, say on Facebook, say you had on Facebook or Twitter, you had two million people and they were following you and you were able to disseminate the word of God or to say something that the word of God says you would have the ability to impact many, many people. So with, with, with this word, immediate fame, that's scary, brothers and sisters. That, that, that is a scary text. That's scary because uh, of all of the immediates that we will study, things that will happen suddenly and straightway, this one. I believe that we are least 
ready for, least ready for, because this is going from nobody calling your name to everybody knowing who Jesus was. So all of a sudden, he blows up overnight. Wow, that's pretty incredible. That's pretty, that's pretty incredible when you think about that. Overnight, 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 immediately. Now, how, how did he use it? Now, now many people will, will just, many people, b- because of lack of understanding, will not understand that because of this, Jesus was able to really spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. The gospel of Jesus Christ. That's why when the Apostle Paul was converted, and even though he was persecuting the saints and killing the saints, once he changed, it, it was a game changer. The people that, that he was that was supporting him, the people that he was persecuting, once he got straight the, the just the, just how profound that was where where the word went out he that used to persecute us has now joined us think about that the one that didn't believe in Jesus has now been convinced that Jesus is God man that 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 shook up everything that shook it up to the point where where the people the people began to uh seek his life people they took a vow that they would not eat until they killed him because once he became an advocate for Jesus Christ and once he started he already had a following so it wasn't it wasn't hard for him to be immediately uh, to become, he was already well known, well known, not in no cave, not somewhere hidden. He was already out there, so he began to uh, propagate the gospel of Jesus Christ. Very, very important that we understand that. So, with 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 this last month of the year, this last month of the decade, last few days of the decade, man, when you say that. That is the profoundness of that. Just think about that. We're not just talking about the last few days of 365 days a uh, year. We're talking about the last few days of a decade, 10 years. That means that, that there, there are the possibility that it was some things that what God wanted to do in this decade that now is down to the last few weeks to see if we will surrender, we will give ourselves over. But he's able to do it. That's what we got to understand. He's able to do it. And if he and if he does it this immediately, it says again, immediately his fame spread throughout all the region around Galilee. Now think about this. He didn't do it for fame. He didn't do it seeking fame. But because of fame, everybody heard about it. And that's what that word fame is talking about, being heard of. That's why when even after Jesus died, everything before his birth is called B.C., before Christ. Everything after is A.D. Because he is, without a doubt, the most famous person to ever live on the planet earth think about that if I had fame I could spread your name for mobile giving text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242 the Axe Church in North Little Rock is located at 1224 Franklin Street morning glory begins at 8 a.m. on Sunday mornings Sunday school begins at 8.30 a.m. And for a powerful word, 
Join us at 9.30 a.m. for our morning worship service. Bible study is each Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. At our Conway location, Morning Glory begins at 10 a.m. Sunday school begins at 10.30 a.m. Worship service begins at 11.30 a.m. On Thursday, our Bible class begins at 6.30 p.m. For more information, go to axeministriesonline.org or give us a call at 501-329-2055. Thank you for tuning in to the Axe Ministry Podcast. The Axe Church is located at 1423 Indian Street in Conway and 1224 Franklin Street in North Little Rock, Arkansas. Tune in each day to hear an inspiring word from Pastor Frank Stewart. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. My name is Frank Stewart. I'm the pastor of Axe Ministries in Conway and also in North Little Rock. We also have an outreach on John Barrow where we partnership with the city and other ministries there. I want to invite you to partner with us in this ministry. I want to invite you to share with us in propagating the gospel of Jesus Christ. There are many things that we're doing and we're going to continue to do. We have a vision in mind on how to be a blessing to the community, communities that we're in. So we're asking you to be a partner with us. I believe that God will reward you and he will multiply you. So join us in the Acts ministry in sponsoring not only this broadcast, but what we're doing in the great city of Little Rock, North Little Rock, and also Conway. God bless you. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. My name is Frank Stewart. And I'm Jacqueline Stewart. We want to invite you to our program. I am the pastor of Axe Ministries, located in Conway, Arkansas, and also in North Little Rock, Arkansas. So join us every Sunday at 4 p.m. right here on VTN for our Words to Empower television broadcast. Oh, I disrespected my parents at, at home, sir. I've been more of a leader than a follower. I've been trying to help others to stay on the right track. Doing good is not really as hard as you think it is. The Arkansas Youth Challenge is enrolling for young people 16 to 18 years old. If you're having trouble in school or at home, call 1-800-814-8453. We support Second Chances. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. We want to wish you happy holidays during this time of the year. Pastor Stewart and I'm Lady Jackie Stewart and we want to just say happy holidays to each and every one of you. We know this can be a difficult season and a difficult time of the year for many of you, but we want you to know God's blessing you and he's pr and we're praying for you and that we have you covered in the name of Jesus that this will be a very blessed, prosperous and happy holiday for each and every one of you. We hope this holiday season will be a very special holiday season and a time that you not only unwrap gifts and be with families, but also that you unwrap that very special gift God gave to you, and that is you yourself. So for First Lady Stewart and Pastor Stewart, we just want to wish you happy, happy holidays. holidays.